Hey guys, it's Poxpro. Welcome back to another video. In today's video for Fallout 76, I'm going to be talking about the rifles gun category for uh, 2020 patch 23. Yeah, this is going to be similar to my heavy weapons guide, but instead of heavy weapons, I'm going to be talking about everything in the game that is classified as a rifle. So here I have a cheat sheet that I went ahead and put together as well, similar to the heavy weapons cheat sheet. And this is going to be version 1.0. I don't think I missed any rifles and I think all the numbers should be relatively correct or um, pretty accurate. So, you know, if you see anything that may be wrong, let me know. Um, that way I can make adjustments and, you know, fix it up. But this is going to be the one that I'm going to go ahead and make the video based off of. Um, and so, yeah, let's get started. All right, so for rifles, we have um, three different types of damage. We have ballistic damage, we have energy damage weapons, and then we have some mixed damage. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over the mixed damage category first. So in the mixed damage category, we have the radium rifle and the plasma rifle. And the radium rifle is clocking in, it's, it's gonna be doing um, ballistic damage and radiation damage. Whereas the plasma rifle is going to be doing ballist, uh, ballistic damage and energy damage. Out of the two mixed damage weapons, I would say the plasma rifle is probably going to be the better pick if you are looking for a mixed damage weapon or just in general, just because the radium rifle does radiation damage. And um, there's actually quite a bit of things in the wasteland that, or creatures that are in the wasteland that are resistant to radiation damage. Like I think if you shoot a, a radium rifle at a ghoul, you're only going to be dealing the ballistic portion of the damage, so you'll be missing out on about 60 DPS. Whereas if you're just using a plasma rifle, you know, you'll get the full uh, the full DPS there. And I also want to make sure that you guys know that I don't personally use rifles, nor have I made a rifle build. But this, this overview is going to be all weapons at their max level, at their uh, base state. So no mods, no legendary effects. Uh, that way it's just kind of a equal playing field comparison. I know mods and legendary effects can like greatly change a weapon's effectiveness, but this is just going to be a comparison about like what weapons have the best base stats. And yeah, me not being a rifle user, so I'm going to be talking about these weapons purely from a, a stat standpoint and some research and like opinions from Reddit and just what I've seen in game uh, while playing with like while on a public server. So those are pretty much the radium rifle. It's got uh, 148 plus the 60 radiation DPS and then it's got uh, for the plasma rifle we have 95.7 uh times two pretty much for the dps and that's going to be doing like, mixed damage of energy and ballistic um plasma rifle i don't think is too bad it uses plasma cartridges um decent range and accuracy and it's going to be fully automatic so i don't think that's a bad option but honestly the radium rifle i, I just don't think it's a very good pick uh, compared to all of the weapons especially on this list and especially compared to just the plasma rifle itself yeah radium rifle is kind of lackluster plasma rifle is not too bad but let's go ahead and go on to the energy damage and then we'll We'll tackle the ballistic damage later. Um, so with the energy damage, we have the laser rifle, the ultra sight laser rifle, and the Tesla rifle. So out of the energy damage category, I would say that the Tesla rifle is going to be the best. The laser rifles, they kind of just fall short. Uh, the level five, uh, the level 45 laser rifle and the ultra sight laser rifle, not too good from what I've seen in terms of uh, public opinion and just like seeing it's how, how often it's being used. And yeah, uh, they're just they just don't really I, I just don't really see them performing well they're not really that worth using the main difference between the laser rifle and the ultra sight laser rifle is that the ultra sight laser rifle is going to be faster shooting but not as hard hitting and overall you actually still get less dps and just because there's ultra sight in the name it doesn't mean that it does bonus damage to scorch targets so honestly the ultra sight laser rifle is kind of just there and then we have the level 45 laser rifle which will be doing it's going to be doing less hits per second but it's going to be doing more damage per hit for a slightly higher dps so if you are going to be using a laser rifle at least use the level 45 laser rifle because overall i mean you're dealing more damage per hit along with a higher dps you just have a slower fire rate um but, but yeah like if the ultra sight laser rifle had higher dps with the faster fire rate, then that would make sense, but it really doesn't. So the ultra sight laser rifle is just kind of crap. <laughs> um, or the, the ultra sight laser rifle just doesn't really compare really well. So if you are going to use a laser rifle, I recommend the level 45 laser rifle. If you're going to use an energy weapon in general, uh, I recommend the Tesla rifle. Tesla rifle is going to be doing 156 damage per second. It's going to be full auto. And the unique part about the Tesla rifle is that 
the electric uh, or the Tesla shots kind of arc between targets. So you can just hold down left click and it'll just like shoot through an entire room of like ghouls, for example. Um, very good for like daily ops. If there's invisible targets, you just hold down left click Tesla rifle to kind of take care of it. So yeah, overall, I've been seeing the Tesla rifle as a pretty popular pick out of all the energy weapons. So if you were to use energy weapon, Tesla rifle. If you were to use a laser rifle, regular laser rifle. Onto the ballistic damage, um, we have a little, quite a bit of weapons here in the ballistic damage category. And I would say that this category is kind of split between your playstyle. So when we're looking at damage in Fallout 76, you kind of want to look at the per hit and the DPS. And DPS is not as important if the enemy's uh, HP pool is smaller. So if you're fighting like just some Scorched or some Super Mutants, you know, then the then overall DPS doesn't matter too bad. Um, you might, you know, you can kind of mix it up if you want to do more of a stronger on hit versus like uh, facet firing. But if you're doing like a Scorched Beast, you're going to want maximum DPS just because their HP pool is so big that using a hunting rifle on them is not going to be nearly as effective as like a handmade rifle, for example. Um, so with that being said, the little split right now would be um, the railway rifle and all the way from the railway rifle to the black powder rifle. Those are going to be your slower firing, harder hitting, more ammo efficient, uh, pretty good for like exploration kind of weapons. And then anything from the assault rifle up to the Gauss rifle is gonna be faster firing, higher DPS, uh, you know, you can bring to a boss fight. Still, still good for exploration, not gonna be as ammo efficient though. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna be kind of the split. We'll go ahead and start with the Gauss rifle to the assault rifle. Um, in terms of all these weapons, we have the level 45 Gauss rifle, which is actually gonna be the highest DPS weapon in the rifles category. It does 539 DPS and it shoots two millimeter EC electric cartridges. And I think that's like kind of an expensive ammo. It's a similar ammo or the same ammo to the Gauss minigun. So from what I hear, you know, it could be kind of a hard ammo to maintain. But in return, you get explosive rounds um, and it is a charged shot. I've seen a lot of people using the Gauss rifle, so I'm guessing it's, it's pretty, it's going to be a pretty solid choice. Um, in terms of range, you got damage, it does AOE damage, so I think it's a pretty, pretty good weapon. And then we have the level 50 10 millimeter submachine gun. This thing shoots really fast, like really, really fast. I think it might have the fastest fire rate out of all the rifles. Yeah. Um, this thing shoots fast and so it's clocking in a very high DPS and it takes cheap ammo, 10 millimeter. Uh, the only thing is the accuracy and range is not going to be nearly as good as some of these rifles. So it's going to be mainly for closer to medium engagements. Um, but definitely a good choice um, if you don't mind getting close to like whatever you're shooting. <laughs> the submachine gun is similar to the 10 millimeter submachine gun, but yeah, it's gonna have a little bit more accuracy. It's gonna take a different type of ammo. It's gonna have a larger mag capacity, but in terms of DPS and the on hit damage, you're just gonna see a bit of a drop. So like, honestly, if you were to use a submachine gun, I would recommend the 10 millimeter submachine gun. Yeah, it's kind of like give or take. It depends on your play style and like what you want. The 10 millimeter is gonna be up close, burning through ammo, but also dealing really good DPS. Whereas the other one can be a little bit more accurate, larger mag capacity, a bit slower firing. So um, it's gonna be a little bit more ammo efficient, but you're gonna get less DPS for that reason. And then we have the handmade rifle. The handmade rifle is a popular rifle. I see that being used quite often as well. You get 45 damage per hit with four hits a second, clocking in at 180 DPS. So this one does a decent amount of damage um, on hit and uh but it doesn't fire as fast so you have a little bit less dps um but i see this when you use a lot in like everyday exploration sort of thing um and the mag capacity is a bit small for the base weapon but i'm sure there's mods to actually extend the magazine capacity next up we have the pipe rifle this is this is the pipe rifle modified to be just a pipe rifle that's not bolt action it's going to be semi-auto um and it has 26 damage per hit for six hits a second 156 dps honestly Pipe rifles are good for for ease of access, like early on when you're first starting in the game. But if you don't have to use a pipe rifle, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I think like the handmade rifle is pretty much a direct upgrade. Um, I think there is probably just a lot better weapons that you can use. But if you're first starting out the game and you're like early on, pipe weapons are still a good rifle to use just because they're easy to, to obtain. You, they're easier, generally easier to obtain mods for because how common they can be to find. Um, and the ammo is a little bit easier to manage than like 5.56 for example. 
Um, then we have the combat rifle. This is also a popular pick from what I've seen. So the combat rifle is going to be um, automatic. It's got really good damage per hit for 40. It's going to be 3.3 hits a second for 132 DPS. So not too bad there. We have the level 50 assault rifle. It's going to be 33 damage per hit with four hits a second and 132 DPS using 5.56 millimeter ammo. So these two, the combat rifle and the assault rifle are kind of like, it's similar to the two submachine machine guns it's like depending on your play style which one you, you might like more the combat rifle is going to be slower firing but harder hitting and the assault rifle is going to be faster firing but uh doesn't hit for as much per hit but they give you the same dps but i think the assault rifle is a bit harder to upkeep in ammo i think 5.56 is harder ammo to come by than 0.485 but and I guess it's a little bit more accurate. But yeah, overall it's kind of a playstyle thing. Uh, up to you if you want the faster firing guns or if you like the harder hitting semi uh, like and harder harder hitting weapons are more ammo efficient too. So the camp combat rifle would be like a bit more ammo efficient. Um, but yeah, kind of up to you on playstyle. And then next up from the railway rifle down to the black powder rifle, we have those slower firing, harder hitting, ammo efficient weapons. Um, and yeah, so the railway the railway rifle is gonna be is gonna have the fast attack speed out of all of these types of weapons but generally speaking I saw a video of the railway rifle you don't want to shoot it as fast as it can shoot because the accuracy is kind of pretty bad <laughs> if you just spam fire it but for single target damage it's pretty dang, it's pretty dang good 95 damage per hit um, and it's got great range and I believe the VATS accuracy on it is pretty good Lever action rifle is gonna be doing 75 damage per hit but it also has a um, a decent firing speed and DPS. Uh, I think the lever action is pretty popular because it does really solid per hit damage but also has a decent firing rate because it is lever action. Um, next up we have the Piper Revolver Pistol. I don't really recommend using the Piper Revolver Pistol. Yeah, uh, sorry, that's supposed to say Pipe Revolver Rifle, uh, but yeah, the, the Pipe Revolver Rifle is like, you know, it does 55 damage per hit, it, it has a decent attack speed, it's a little bit more than the lever action, but it still falls shorter on the DPS side, I mean, like uh, with all pipe weapons, I think it's good for ease of access. Um, but I wouldn't really recommend it compared to your other options. Like the, instead of using the pipe revolver, I would maybe use the lever action or something, <laughs> almost anything else. But definitely if you're first starting out, uh, pipe revolver rifle. And I think the pipe revolver uh, rifle is kind of like the in-between of the pipe rifle and the bolt action rifle. But I'll talk about that once I get to the bolt action rifle. The uh, then we have the level 50 hunting rifle, which is going to be 70 damage per hit and 0.3 hits per second at 21 DPS. This one is pretty decent starting weapon that you can actually uh, get pretty early on as well. And it's going to be dealing pretty good damage in comparison to the pipe bolt action rifle. They're going to be nearly identical. But the main difference is the hunting rifle is going to have more range, whereas the pipe bolt action rifle is going to have a bit more accuracy and one extra capacity. And um, I know like mods aren't really going to be accounted for, but the hunting rifle can be made into like a pretty, pretty well made sniper. So uh, yeah, that's to keep in mind as well. And then with the pipe bolt action rifle, it's going to be the slow firing, hard hitting group of the pipe rifle weapons, whereas the pipe rifle is going to be the faster firing kind of like semi-auto pipe weapon and then the pipe revolver pistol has like a kind of a good balance it's still semi-auto but it's kind of faster firing and has a mix of like some hard hitting so that's why it's like the in between of them and then there's the black powder rifle i mean i think it's a cool weapon concept and idea but like realistically most people will probably not use the black powder rifle just because of its single shot capacity and then you'd have to reload so it's not that efficient and also i think the 50 cal balls are kind of like Kind of sucks to carry so yeah that's pretty much going to be a quick the quick overview of every single weapon in in terms of the rifles um now i'm just going to give like what i think are probably the best weapons to use for dps and the best weapons to use for everyday exploration and keep in mind that all of this is not from personal experience but from a little bit of research and from just what i saw uh, see other people using but i've never really personally used all these weapons but yeah so i would highly recommend in terms of the top weapons for rifles uh gauss rifle and tesla rifle those two seem to be really good in terms of the damage and just versatility 
Goss Rifle being the explosive, and it's got AoE, it's got decent range, high DPS. Tesla Rifle with the arcing shots, like easy cold down left click, you're doing like AoE damage. So those two are generally pretty good. And then the next one would be the Handmade Rifle, and the Combat Rifle, and the Lever Action Rifle. Those ones I have seen to be pretty well used. I've seen a lot of Handmade Rifles, um, I've seen a decent amount of Combat Rifles and Lever Actions. Um, I would say that the Gauss Rifle, Tesla Rifle, and Handmade Rifle are probably more on the DPS side. Can definitely still be used for exploration. And then the, and I guess the Combat Rifle is a bit more on the DPS side too. Um, and then the Lever Action, and I would say the Hunting Rifle. I think the Lever Action and Hunting Rifle are probably the more practical <laughs> ones for the exploration. They're going to be the best of the hard-hitting kind of uh, sniper kind of weapons, the sniper playstyle. So definitely if you're going to be doing like a sneak build where you're depending on doing very bursty single shot damage, you're probably going to want to be using the Lever Action or maybe the Hunting Rifle, maybe even the Railway Rifle. And then if you're going to be doing uh, like just uh, non-sneak, you're looking for the faster firing weapons, I would say the Gauss Rifle, Tesla Rifle, Handmade Rifle, and Combat Rifle. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you have any other opinions like about the rifles, like let me know also in the, in the comment section. And if you have any tweaks or feedback about the sheet, also let me know. And then, yeah, do keep in mind, though, like with a solid perk set and solid legendary rolls and modifications, any of these weapons could probably become viable. Um, but those are just going to be what I think, from a stats point of view, work out the best. Um, in terms of just the base stats and if you just not, you know, what's probably and those are the weapons that are pretty popular from what I've seen too um, But yeah until next time